Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it's time for an upper body day. And um, I made this workout a little bit short. I realize I actually enjoy the shorter, more intense workouts, and I feel like as long as I get enough basic variety for my, my weakest links, I'm good to go. Uh, so I feel like the wide grip benching and any sort of chin up or pull up will actually build my lats. Um, I get enough splash over uh, to back because of all the other stuff. My lats are easily my best body part. Uh, they grow no matter what I do. Plus even the deadlifts done on the deadlift day for volume even seem to contribute for me. Uh, but, the, but again, pull ups and chin ups really are king for me on lats. So I did an easy uh, training max on the bench, so just 315, and I want people to keep in mind these are tra those are training maxes. They're not intended to be heavy, right? I just want one good single uh, where I attenuate the upper threshold, muscle fibers get used to setting up a single, and then we move on. So I do that on my, my big three. All right, afterwards I did uh, pause benching, right? 275, three sets of six, supersetted with weighted chins. So again, keep in mind on the benching when people point out that my benching isn't as heavy as it was this summer, um, keep in mind I did cut a little and it's a different bench style. I'm completely flat back and I'm very wide grip because I feel like that is what will build my chest. That's what's going to build my strength out of the bottom of the bench. And again, as long as I continue to train my shoulders and triceps, everything's going to be good if I set up an arch again later um, and do anything else. But I'm really enjoying the hard version of the bench. Uh, same with chins here. Um, doing a 45 and just getting sets of six worked great. So I just superset it back and forth. And then after that, everything else is, is largely um, all my supplemental work. And I really kind of go back to that concept that I like that really I should have a big four and then curls, right? Should really always be the focus of my training. That would be my big five. Some sort of pull up or chin up added to the big three and then curls. Uh, and, and I do like that, that approach to training. But yeah, this is very much just power building at this point. Uh, a lot of moderate reps. Again, a lot of stuff in the six to eight. And then, of course, we do uh, a little bit of lighter pump work for uh, single joint exercises. So what I'm kind of doing for all of this, all of my uh, muscles are going to get one big compound and then anything that needs any extra work will get an isolation movement thrown in. And again, that works great. So really the only thing that I'm not doing a second exercise for when I do it this way, but keep in mind, I was doing two sets last time for two movements and just three sets of one now. Again, I feel like uh, because I do a pullover style extension, because I'm doing chins and all that, that all works the chest. I feel like everything does kind of work my chest and I'm benching super, super wide now. So my chest gets a great pump just from benching and I love incline. I think incline's great, um, but I question if I really need it as long as I'm doing shoulder and tricep work, you know, with this wide grip benching. Right, all this pause wide grip benching, um, again, I feel like I'm getting really strong right off the chest. And honestly, if anything, it would be shoulders and triceps. It might limit me later as long as I keep training this way. But I was really happy with the bench work. It felt good. Everything felt good. Uh, the chins felt good. Felt a ton of lat. And I always point out, a lot of times people don't like the way I do any of my back stuff. It's always funny. Uh, you know, the peanut gallery loves to chime in whether I'm doing pull-ups or rows or anything else about how wrong I do them. But then I always have a big back, and my back seems to grow year after year no matter what I do. So I might suggest to some of those people, maybe they don't really know how to work the back. Just, just a suggestion. Because that's one of the things all of my clients notice when I'm coaching them. Their backs get really big real fast. I'm happy with it. I felt my lats. I got a good stretch at the bottom, but we're putting a little more focus on biceps. And that's the thing that I've also got to look at too. Really, I mean, my biceps are going to grow if I just keep getting stronger at weighted chins and at curls. Okay. Same thing with the triceps here. So I'm doing these sort of line extensions. Uh, I've gotten pretty strong at these. And I almost feel like when I look at, at the physique, I know I need more arm in general, we all agree. Uh, I almost do feel like maybe the triceps just, if they just get really big, my arms will look bigger. So I'm gonna keep just hammering the triceps real hard uh, with the extensions. And then I, I did a set of band press downs at the end just to get a second angle, get blood flow, keep that tendon healthy. All right, so what I did with the, the extensions, I supersetted them with an upright row. Uh, 
I feel this sort of upright row this towel or I went a hair wider on the on the next couple sets. Um, I feel a lot of shoulder activation in this. Again, I know some people don't necessarily like this. Like, oh, should you come all the way to the chin? And, and I'm like, eh. I only feel front delt when I try to go up higher. If I'm trying to work the side delt, the traps, all that stuff, really it's the bottom two thirds that matter. And again, biomechanically, that makes sense. Uh, but again, keeping in mind the front delt gets worked, plus I'm doing all that benching, right? Uh, I think it's, it's a bit tit for tat. Because really the side delt is no longer involved once you get past a certain height. Uh, I'm happy with the way they feel and I get a good stretch in the shoulders and that's the main thing that I care about, right? Plus, I think people forget with some of my, my ranges of motion, it's not always easy to do certain things. What, what do they want me to do? Go down to the empty bar. I don't know. <laughs> There's a point where I just don't care anymore. I'm just going to come in and train, do what feels good, do what makes me feel the muscles, and just keep keep rolling with it and uh, not really care what anyone thinks. Uh, one of the things I did notice, I noticed uh, my waistline looks a little looser today. And I've noticed, again, a lot of times that depends on what's going on with electrolytes and stuff in my diet. Uh, just, just an observation. But uh, that really needs to be the long-term goal is to continue to lose the fat around the waistline and tighten it up. Um, because we know when I do water cuts, it tightens up. So it's very subject to fluid balance. That's one of the things I've noticed, that loose skin in that area. But again, ultimately, the only way to ever really resolve it is to keep losing the fat. And I think people forget that. So that really, if we really, again, break it down, what do I need aesthetically? Now that I'm focusing on physique more, having come from a powerlifting background, uh, tighten the waistline up, more arms, right? Doesn't mean we don't want everything to grow, but realistically, that waistline needs to come down, both the fat and the loose skin, right? At least another, another three to four inches. I need to add at least an inch to my arms. Uh, then I'll be in a, I think, a pretty decent spot, you know, for a guy closing in on 50. Not bad. So, shoulders. Um, I'm giving the shoulders a little bit of priority now. Um, I've done, because I'm not doing quite as many big compound movements uh, with quite as much variety, I do need to make sure the shoulders get hit hard. All right, when I'm doing incline and rows and all that, okay, fine. But if I'm not going to do that, I'm going to treat the shoulders just like arms. They need a compound and then they need an isolation. So what did we do for, for arms? We did benching and then we did skull crushers. We worked all functions of the tricep now. Of course, then I finish off with that set of band press downs to failure. But that's really for me tendon health and just getting a good pump at the end. Uh, curls, decided to just do the curls in the way that I feel good, right? These feel good, right? We'd have just a little bit of shoulder forward travel. Uh, trying to get a good lockout at the bottom. And I want to just get strong at curls. Continue to get stronger at them. And then I superset those with the, the laterals at the end. So again, the biceps then get chin ups and they get barbell curls. What do the delts get? The delts get, obviously the big movements all hit delts, but uh, we did upright rows and then we did laterals. So we did a compound and an isolation. And I think that's, again, a good way to approach to approach muscles in general, right? If you're an advanced lifter and you're trying to say, okay, what's the, the minimum volumes I need? Because I, I really wasn't enjoying the crazy high volume. I don't feel that I get much out of it. It feels lazy. It feels boring. This feels a lot better because now I'm focused on performance on just a few really high quality sets, a couple of exercises per muscle, right? and just focus on getting stronger at those movements. You know, stronger in like the six to 12 rep range. Obviously, I'm not necessarily saying, hey, let's do maxes, because that's not what I'm doing. The training maxes are not done as true maxes. Uh, but overall, happy with this workout. Everything felt good. Everything felt a good pump, felt a lot of activation, but nothing felt completely exhausted. And I don't feel exhausted at the end of it. Um, this was less than an hour workout. Uh, so, and I think the last lower body day was about 40 minutes. And so these upper body days are, are getting knocked out inside of an hour, right? So overall, pretty happy with that. That's the beauty of supersetting everything, right? Because it ends up being here, one training max and nine supersets between these exercises. And keep in mind that the last couple exercises, these are smaller movements. Breaks aren't very long. 
but uh, did all that and then just knocked out one set of band press downs to failure with a heavier band than I normally do because I, I could still get like 30 plus reps it felt like. I lost count, I didn't care. Uh, did those curls where all the curls were to failure though, by the way. Like I did those to where I couldn't get the weight to budge again. That last that last set though, um, I did a rested a couple seconds and, and then tried to squeeze out just one more. Again, just making sure the biceps are getting uh, finished. But I think this front view shows uh, shoulders and chest are coming along pretty good. Uh, mainly just need, like I said, just need to keep working on the arms, tighten the waistline up. We'll be good to go. And then, of course, I finished up with the band press downs. Again, just making sure those tricep tendons stay healthy and get some blood flow because I am going very heavy on extensions. Uh, and I hit failure on that last set of extensions. For those who watched close, I couldn't complete that 10th that rep. So that was actually true failure. So I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys next time.